this is the IoT device that Jack built. This is the security flaw that was designed into the foundation of the IoT device that Jack built. This is the hacker who found the security flaw that was designed into the foundation of the IoT device that Jack built. This is the user who discovers the hacker who found the security flaw that was designed into the foundation of the IoT device that Jack built. This is the manager who fires Jack, of course. Don't be like Jack. Security these days in this big old IoT device that Jack built is more important than ever before. You need a comprehensive security plan that just isn't locks on the doors. We're going to need something for all of those windows, that keyhole, and just about every nook and cranny we can find. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Yes, we are talking about IoT security and a whole lot more in this Chalk Talk. My guest is Ram Conreddy from Microchip Technology, and he and I are chatting about Microchip's new SAML 10 and SAML 11 family of MCUs, which bring a whole new level of security, low power, and touch capability to your next connected design. All right, let's get started with those windows. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find more information about the Sam L10 and Sam L11 family of MCUs from Microchip Technology. Hi, Ram. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Great to see you guys here. Okay, so we're here to talk about three cornerstones of a lot of designs today. Security, low power, and touch. So, Ram, where do we get started? We're excited to share with you our latest 30-bit MCU family, SAM L10 L11, that brings innovation to security, low power, and touch applications. It has industry-leading security for its performance class and is industry's first ARM Cortex M23 with robust chip-level security and ARM trust zone. We have cohesively integrated several hardware security features and incorporated them in a small footprint MCU, and they are supported by a comprehensive security solution framework that makes implementation of security simple. They are also industry's lowest power MCUs in their performance class. Microchip's PicoPower technology delivered staggering results with industry's best certified low power specs. The ULP Mark scored that these family of devices achieved are over two times better than the nearest competition, and they deliver ultra-low currents in both active and sleep modes. These MCUs also provide unprecedented touch solution, which is highly responsive and accurate. To this highly responsive and accurate touch, we've added superior water tolerance and excellent noise immunity to design exceptional touch interfaces. Excellent. Okay, Ram, let's get more into the features, the pin options, the variants of this family. Here is a block diagram of this first-of-its-kind MCU family. The family comes in two variants, SAM L10, which is a general-purpose variant, and SAM L11, which is an enhanced secure variant. They both run at 32 MHz with ARM Cortex M23 core and go up to 64 KB flash and 16 KB SRAM. The security features include ARM Trust Zone, chip level tamper resistance on 256 bytes of RAM, secure boot, secure key storage, secure bootloader, and crypto accelerator. Both MCUs are built with PicoPower technology and have enhanced peripheral touch controller. They come in 24 and 30 pin package options. So Ram, it looks like this variant is loaded with a lot of robust security features. Can you give us some background on the security environment today and how this SAM L11 can help? Sure, you might have heard about Jeep hack in the past. This is one of the recent hacks that happened this year where hackers got into a casino database through a smart fish tank thermometer. And underline smart fish tank since it is an IoT node. With the explosive growth of IoT nodes and increased frequency of security breaches, security is not an option. If security is not taken seriously, here are the various threats that your IoT node may be prone to. The good news is, SAM L11 has countermeasures for each of these security threats. It offers trust zone and immutable secure boot to counteract malicious software attacks. It comes with secure bootloader and secure key storage to minimize the risk of vulnerable firmware upgrades. Chip level tamper resistance and silent access to resist microprobing and data remnants attacks. It has onboard cryptographic accelerator to help prevent man in the middle attacks and secure key storage to protect the encryption keys. 
Very cool. So can you give me some use cases, scenarios where these countermeasures can be applied? Sure. To better understand the implementation of SAM 11 countermeasures, here are some of the use cases. This is a high-level block diagram of an IoT node. With SAM L11, you can partition the IoT node into trusted and non-trusted zones and secure sensitive data and critical functions in the trusted zone. In the event of malware entering the IoT node, SAM L11 Secure Boot will identify the malware, erase it, and loads a backup copy. This is a game-changing feature that doesn't exist on any of the MCUs in its performance class and memory footprint today. It empowers the IoT nodes to fight malware and avoid downtime of the critical functions to significantly improve the reliability of the node. For accessory authentication, printer and cartridge are chosen as examples. SAM L11 typically goes into a printer and challenges the cartridge it wants to authenticate. It verifies the response from the cartridge with the manufacturer's secret key stored in its secure key storage. SAM L11 secure key storage can be leveraged to help counterfeiting and cloning of products. SAM L11's onboard crypto module can be used to encrypt patient sensitive data to help protect patients' privacy in medical devices. In remote keypad applications, when a passcode is entered, Peripheral Touch Controller PTC acquires the passcode and SAM L11 offers a first layer of protection by placing it in the trusted zone to isolate from malware sniffing passcodes. When this passcode needs to be sent to a gateway for authentication, SAM L11 offers a second layer of protection by encrypting the passcode before transmitting via a wireless module. So Ram, you mentioned a comprehensive security solution framework earlier. Tell me more about that. Not only do we offer robust hardware security features, we also make implementation of security simple with our comprehensive security solution framework. Here are some of the developer perceptions and how our framework can help. Developers perceive security as complex, but if you choose our framework, it makes implementation simple and easy with its modular architecture. Developers perceive security as an overhead cost. SAM L11 provides a single chip solution with security designed upfront. SAM L11's integrated security features, peripherals, and memory come with complete application support. This includes code snippets and demonstration examples to get started. Requires specialized experts. Microchip provides complete lifecycle end-to-end security solution, including offerings from our third-party security partners, eliminating the need for our customers to hire security experts. Increases development time. The framework comes with graphical user interface configuration tools. Customers don't have to write code for every single configuration, as these tools can generate code automatically, which will significantly reduce the development time. Okay, so Ram, tell me more about those third-party security partners. Trustonic Skinny BM SDK will be supporting SAM L11 MCUs. It abstracts away the lower-level details of SAM L11 to offer a modular GUI-based solution. Customers can pick and choose the relevant security module needed for their application and don't have to build the security modules from scratch. This will significantly reduce the development time and effort for the designers. It is an end-to-end security solution, meaning all the way from secure key provisioning during the manufacturing stage of SAM L11 to application development phase to remote firmware upgrades anytime during the device lifecycle will be addressed by this framework. We also partnered with Secure Things and Data.io for key provisioning services that will be available at various distributor and contract manufacturing locations. Okay, so Ram, how do I get started with the SAM L11? To get started with SAM L11, we are offering SAM L11 Explain Pro Evaluation Kit. It runs on the Superset 64KB Flash and 16KB SRAM device with all the security features enabled. It comes with Microbus socket and Explain Pro extension headers to expand the development environment using various Microbus clickboards and Microchips Explain Pro extension kits. It has Explain Pro analog module for power consumption analysis and an onboard programmer and debugger eliminating the need for external programmers and debuggers. It comes with full support of application demos, which includes trusted execution environment, secure LoRa node, and AWS enrollment using Trustonic KineBM. So I know that Microchip in the past has led the pack with low-power 32-bit MCUs like the SAM L2X series, but where does this family stand in regards with power consumption and the benefits that it offers? 
Samilton 11 family offers industry's lowest power consumption in its performance class. Pico Power technology outperformed the competition. The embassy certified ULP mark scores we've achieved is over two times better than the nearest competition and is 1.5 times better than Microchip's existing low power leader, which is SAM L21. With SAM L10 L11, we broke our own record. The specs that you are seeing here, less than 25 microamps per megahertz in active mode, less than 600 nanoamps in sleep, and less than 100 nanoamps in shutdown with fast wake up times of 1.5 microsecond are all industry leading specs. When we did a battery life estimation, we found that L10 L11 offers 40% longer battery life than the existing low power leader SAM L21. Beyond power consumption specs and benchmarks, Pico Power technology offers flexible power saving features, longer battery life, and lower total system cost. Okay, Ram, now we talked earlier about your touch solution, so let's get into the benefits and highlight of that. Sure. SAM Elton L11 offers enhanced peripheral touch controller, PTC, to provide unprecedented touch solution. It offers driven shield plus that brings superior water tolerance. This would also enable products to work in dew, sweat, rain, and running water. It can also be designed into IP68 rated products. Driven shield plus also shields noise to provide better noise immunity. Enhanced PTC also brings parallel acquisition, which makes it four times faster than the previous generation of PTCs. It does so by processing multiple buttons in parallel as opposed to the traditional sequential processing. Parallel acquisition also filters noise and provides improved response time. With SAM L10 L11 PTC, you can do up to 100 buttons, 33 sliders or wheels, and surfaces up to 8 by 8 centimeters. It is ultra low power and is a core independent peripheral. Here are some of the common noise sources that can get in the way of elegant touch experience. The enhanced PTC on SAM L10 L11 has mitigation technique for each of these noise sources and it easily passed industry standard noise immunity test. The SAM L10 L11 PTC brings several benefits. It is supported by Qtouch configurator and libraries to simplify touch development. It comes with advanced noise filtering techniques. It is highly responsive accurate and eliminates false triggers due to water. Adding water tolerance capability is easy with the click of a button using the Qtouch configurator and it facilitates pinch and zoom capability for surfaces in the presence of water. It is ultra low power and is a core independent peripheral. The enhanced peripheral touch controller on SAM L10 L11 family helps differentiate products with elegant touch interfaces. Okay, so Ram, do you have any demos to get started with low power and touch? Of course, the SAM L10 Explain Pro Evaluation Kit comes with low power and touch demos. This includes water tolerant touch, ultra low power keypad touch, weather station, and ultra low power sensor demos. The kit comes with Microbus socket and Explain Pro extension header to expand the development environment using Microbus clickboards and Microchips Explain Pro extension kits. It also has Explain Pro analog module for power consumption analysis and has an onboard programmer and debugger eliminating the need for external programmers and debuggers. Okay, so let's talk about the ecosystem here. What other tools and development environments is the SAM L10 and L11 supported with? SAM L10 L11 family is supported by a rich development ecosystem with four different IDEs. It is supported by Atmel Start and Atmel Start Trust Zone Manager to configure Trust Zone on SAM L11. The security framework includes Trustonic end-to-end -end solution, Secure Things key provisioning, and Segar Mcrypt crypto library. Low power applications are supported by Power Debugger and Data Visualizer to monitor and analyze power consumption in real time. Touch applications are supported by Qtouch Configurator, Qtouch Modular Library, and 2D Touch Surface Library to accelerate development of exceptional touch interfaces. Okay, so Ram, what are the target applications of this family? SAM L10 L11 can be targeted for a broad range of applications. This includes IoT and security, ultra low power, and capacitive touch. Okay, so I think we're ready to wrap things up. Can you give me your main points real quick? Sure. To summarize, SAM L10 L11 family is industry's first ARM Cortex M23 with robust chip level security and ARM trust zone. It is supported by a comprehensive security solution framework to simplify the implementation of security in embedded applications. PicoPower technology outperforms the competition and provides longer battery life and lower total system cost. 
Enhanced peripheral touch controller provides unprecedented touch solution with Driven Shield Plus and parallel acquisition. This family can be targeted for a broad range of applications and is supported with rich development ecosystem. For more information, please visit microchip.com slash SAML11. Excellent. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Amelia. Thanks for joining us. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find more information about the SAM L10 and SAM L11 family of MCUs from Microchip. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talk section of EE Journal or check out YouTube, keyword EE Journal.